Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Haikyuu to the Top, which is on episode 17, or episode 4 on Haikyuu to the Top Part 2 or Season 2. Anyways, this episode right here, looks like to me, it had a lot of focus on a certain relationship with Nekoma, especially with Kema and Kuro along with the other teammates, instead of like the actual match itself. However, I will talk about the actual match, but I want to get with the, I want to start, I want to recap with like Kema and his relationship with his other teammates, you know, especially with the guy named Yamamoto or Tora, if anything. So if anything else, let's just get this started. Back then when Kema was a uh, middle schooler or whatever grade he was in, he wasn't that much into volleyball until Kuro dragged him into it or he just wanted him to play with him, you know? Eventually, you know, Kema will get used to volleyball and we, we will get to know at the beginning of the episode that he will not he does not hate it, but he doesn't have much passion about it. But I don't know. There's something about him that he seems very neutral on, you know? And later on, we get to see how he practices with Nekoma and how he's always like him, the guy who's out of physical breath whatsoever. But he's not the kind of guy to give up and he's very persistent, you know? And sometimes Yamamoto or Tora will seem to like provoke him in a certain way, you know? And whether it's from like um, a verbal thing or a physical thing. But one thing for sure, Kuro does advise Kema like, hey, maybe you should connect more with your teammates, you know? And maybe it'll work out. Eventually, you know, when it came to the first his first practice match, it looks like to me that Kema did ver did did very well in his practice in, in his first practice match because like um his sets were easy to hit, everything else all considered, and Yamamoto Tora or just Tora himself, um, he would later get into a nasty nasty situation where he's trying to show off that he's been working very hard and that he should be on the team, you know that kind of thing. Eventually, Kema does take advice from Kuro, you know, and tries to help him out, you know. But unfortunately, Yamamoto takes this as an insult and he tells Kema that you don't understand how I feel whatsoever. And he ends up throwing insult insults that are facts towards his face, you know, which is really deranging or agitating. And eventually, you know, they would get into some bickering and argument and we, we, would, we would have a Nekomon teammate splash water on them telling him, Hey, chill the hell out you hear me that kind of thing but that aside um <laughs> it looks like to me eventually after Tora and let's see here Kenma ends up having to bond a little bit further during the, during the time when they practicing with each other and helping each other out they would get into some nasty bickering but all that is just settled like nothing more than big trivial nothing no one's holding a grudge you know so throughout the entire 90% of the episode, it does show the relationship with Kema and his other teammates, or should I say he does have a certain like a bonding moment with Tora, or Yamamoto Tora, of Nekoma, you know? You get the idea. If you watch the episode, you'll understand. If you haven't, and don't even watch the series, and just watching a simple summary of a recap, you'll be confused as hell as what of what I'm talking about here. But that being said, um, we get to see the actual match, you know. Eventually, they would have, they would win the set against Sao, that against Saoga Tech or whatever the heck they're called, um, Saurukawa Tech, you know. They will win the first set, twenty-five to twenty-three. But eventually, when it comes to the second set, this is where it becomes a little difficult for Kenma, you know. We get to know throughout the entire episode that he is not really physically fit, and he's really exhausted meant he could be exhausted physically pretty badly you know and we get to know that from a certain perspective in this match you know i mean he would show like um total like out of breath kind of movement etc and sarukawa tech may have sacrificed one set but they are trying to get like their main main st strategist or strategy guy or something to try to mess up because without the setter you know and without good Good set setting points, you know, or planning the strategies or the attacks, you're you're more likely to fall. And we get to see, and we all get, and we all know that. I mean, we've seen that in we've seen that in high in, in every high season, you know, is that they have to make sure the setter's in good shape and make sure they know what the heck they're doing because without them, they're nothing, and their attacks will be so messed up and bad that it'll be easy to pick up. And we get to know Sarukawa Tech and Nekoma are both known to be powerful defenders of their own court. So, but Sarukawa Tech, like I said, is trying to tire out their setter to a point that they will not be able to make any good hits or attacks anymore. And then without that setter, they'll be behind or they'll be vulnerable, you know? 
And preview of next episode is called Trap. So I don't know whether or not if it's the trap from Sarukawa Tech or the trap from Nekoma. But we have yet to possibly find out in the next episode. And I like to know, and it's really nice to know Nekoma. I mean, we get we get to know that we bonded with them when they fought Karasuno. And then they bonded with, together again at the camp, you know, in Season 2, etc. And we get to know Nekoma playing against Nohe, Nohebi and all that. And the OVA and etc. And so forth. You guys get the cue. Anyways, looking forward to Nekoma's next match. No, looking forward to more of Nekoma next episode as it was previewed. So hopefully it'll be pretty nice, you know. Like I said, throughout the 90% of the episode, we get to know about Kema himself along with Kuro. And how Kema bonded with Yamamoto Tora, you know, etc. Don't know what's really going to happen next for anyone else. But <laughs> it's it has its own hilarious moments here and there. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm off of Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot toot!